<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, we're going to be revisiting the PlayStation 4 yet again with about the same thing here, but with a bit more of a manual twist. Now, this is going to be covering jailbroken PlayStation 4s that have the latest version of Gold Hen, and it will be showing how you can use the Gold Hen cheat menu pretty easily get it all up and running, but how you can manually transfer over cheats. Now in the previous video similar to this, I did cover Gold Hen Cheats Manager, which is a fantastic way to easily load up hundreds of cheats on your PS4 at once, keep them updated, all that fun stuff. And this is a great tool right here. However, I do want to show the manual process behind that, just in case there's anybody who is interested. Maybe you only want a few specific cheats. Maybe you want to modify the cheat files, create your own, do some testing on those, or even just modify, manipulate them to use a different cheat file that you might have available here. For that, you would need to rename them, and I'll get into that here. So either way, you're going to need a few things to get started. First of all, you're going to need your jailbroken PlayStation 4 running the latest version of Gold Hen. We're also going to need FTP access to transfer over the cheat files that we need, and we're going to need the game or games that we want to run cheats on. For this, I'm going to be using Dead Rising, and I know that I'm going to be using the version 1.0 build of this. That is going to be important to know, just so you are aware of which version your cheat file will need. So with that, let's go ahead and move over to our PC and get the downloads that we need and transfer over everything. Now using the cheat menu does require Gold Hen for what we're doing here, and this does require at minimum Gold Hen version 2.2. .2. So as long as you're using the latest version of Gold Hen at the time of this recording, you should be all good to go. Just make sure your host that you are using has at minimum Gold Hen 2.2 running on it. And for a lot of cheats that we can download and use, we're going to be utilizing the Gold Hen Cheat Repository. Now, this is actually the same repository that the Gold Hen Cheats Manager pulls from. So we're going to be downloading and using the exact same cheats that that program would be using. However, of course, we do have manual access to modify everything now. So this is pretty simple to use here. This is covering the Gold Hen Cheat menu. And this is worth reading over, just taking a quick look at it once you come to this link yourself. That way you could see the usage of it, storage, and just really everything on here. There's not too much to cover, thankfully, because they make this so simple and easy to use. Now, the cheat files that we're looking for are in JSON and SHN format. All of them that are in JSON format, which seems to be most of them, are just in the JSON folder right here. And there's a few of them that are in the SHN folder. Now, as opposed to downloading these individually, which from what I see, we can't really easily do. We would have to copy the code in one of these and then save it on a text editor. We're just going to download the whole repository. It's so small that it's just worth doing that and handling locally on our desktop. So with that, you can come over to the cheat repository, click on code, and click on download zip, and save this zip somewhere you can easily find it. Once you have the zip available, as you can see, it is 434 kilobytes. Yours is probably going to be bigger, you know, if you watch this video later down the line. You can right click this and just extract it right here onto your desktop. It's going to extract into its own folder. And right here, we have the GitHub, well, all the contents of it now locally available. All of our JSON files are in the JSON folder, and all of our SHN files are in the SHN folder. Those are the two file formats that cheats will come in. And both of these are just editable text files. So for example, let's say this one, I'm going to use Notepad++ for this, which I do recommend. But if you ever want to look at this here, this is a SHN file for, let's see, No Man's Sky update 3.05. And you can see this one has cheats for infinite units for buy, infinite item inventory, infinite items for sell. Just a few examples right here. In the JSON folder, we can take a look at, let's say this very first one. So we can go ahead, edit this. And as you can see, this one is for Killzone Shadowfall, this exact CUSA update, and well, CUSA build, and then update 1.00 aka the base version of this game. And this has cheats for god mode, 
infinite ammo, and infinite medkits is what it looks like. So here, if you ever want to modify any of these cheats, add, remove, you know, do any of your own cheat authoring, you're able to do that pretty easily, and that way you can also, you know, transfer these files over. Now, the exact game that I'm going to be running is Dead Rising, so I know the CUSA ID of this. Here we go. 4513. Now, if you run into a game that has multiple files such as this, as you can see, we're going to read this real quick. This is for our game build, which this is the exact build that I'm running here, CUSA 04513. This is version 1.00, meaning that I need this exact build of Dead Rising on version 1.00. So if let's say, for example, I have a 1.02 patch installed for Dead Rising, none of these three cheats would work on here. However, let's take this game, for example. Let me go ahead and see which one it is. This one is near Automata. This one is for the 1.06 update. So if I had only the base version of near Automata installed, this would not work. I would have to update to version 1.06 in order to use the cheats in here. If you need to see which specific version of a game you have installed, again, you can just go to the game itself, hit the options button, go down to information, and it will show right there under the version string. And if you want to get an idea of what your game ID might be, I know there's going to be different IDs between regions and such at times, you can also go to a site like Orbis Patches and look up, I'm going to do this here, Dead Rising. Thankfully, there's only one version of Dead Rising here, CUSA 04513, so I know that's exactly what it is. Anyways, that's our cheats that we have available. For our last thing here I want to touch up on, if you have any games that have a underscore 2 or underscore 3 behind them, the one that's going to be loaded, if you have all of these here as multiples on your system, only the first one is going to be loaded up. So if you have any cheats that have a underscore after the version number, those ones are not going to be utilized. So for example here, let's look at these two cheats. I'm going to compare them. The original version of 2Dark has infinite health, infinite flashlight lantern, and then looking at the version 2 of it, it only seems to have infinite ammo and infinite flashlight. So if for whatever reason I wanted to use the 2 version on here, I would have to rename this to not have the underscore two behind it and make sure that gets transferred over to the system. Now, speaking of transfers, let's go ahead and get these cheats transferred over. I'll show you exactly how to do that. For this, I'm going to be using WinSCP. It's free, it does what I need it to do, and I've covered it in a previous video. I'm going to kind of glaze over setting up FTP on here, but I have a more detailed video showing FTP on a PS4. So if you haven't done this before, first of all, make sure that your gold hen is up and running already. Then go over to settings, go to gold hen, and enable the FTP server. There is your IP address and port number, which we are going to be punching into WinSCP or whatever FTP program you're going to be using. Now, once we have our FTP program up and running, this is going to be the settings that you need to set here. We're going to do FTP protocol, no encryption, enter in the IP address that was given for your PlayStation 4, the port number is 2121, and if you're asked for a login prompt, just log in as anonymous. Once we have all of that, we can click login, and there we go. Now, this might look a little bit daunting, but it's easy enough. On the left, this is going to be our computer where we have the files that we're trying to transfer. You just need to navigate to where your cheats are. And on the right is going to be our PlayStation 4 itself. Now the exact folder we're looking for is data, gold hen, cheats, and then JSON is for JSON cheats, and SHN is for SHN cheats. Now for example, let's say I want to go into my own SHN folder, and I only want to transfer over the 3.05 cheats for No Man's Sky. Well, all we need to do is go over to the SHN folder on our PlayStation 4, double click it, right click, upload, OK, and there we go. That's the single cheat file that we have. I'm just going to transfer over all of these because there's not that many there. Now let's look at our JSON cheats, which that's going to be the vast majority of everything. So again, if all I want to do is transfer over the cheats for Killzone Shadow Fall for update 1.00 or just the base version, I can just go into the JSON folder, right click, upload, OK, 
and that's it. Since I only want to transfer over Dead Rising, I'm going to find this here, and I'm just going to transfer over the first one. That's what we need. Now, in the case of having multiple cheats, let's say I have two and three, this is the example of what I was talking about. Let's say I want to swap these out here and I'm managing this. I'm tired of this cheat set here and I want to work on number three. I'd have to rename the original one. So I can call this one underscore four, for example, and I'm going to rename three to remove the underscore and the number behind it. So that way now when I load up my cheats while load up Dead Rising, it's going to load up this one right here. However, I want to transfer over all of these cheats. You don't have to, but that's going to be what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to get rid of the ones here, highlight all these, upload, and do that. And just wait a bit. It doesn't take all too long, but since these are just individual files over FTP, it might take a minute. However, again, the nice thing is with this, you can pick and choose your cheats. You can choose what you want to enable, which ones you want to disable, whether it's the cheats on the files themselves, or even if it's just the cheat set that you have selected. So this does give you that nice manual control over your cheat set. Now, here we go. With all of this transferred over, I'm going to exit out of WinSCP and go over to the PlayStation 4. We can disable the FTP server because we don't need it at this time. And now let's go ahead and test out our cheats. So like I've said many times, I'm going to try out Dead Rising, and this is exactly how it's going to work. We're going to fire up our game, and there's two methods that you can use to fire up the cheat menu. The first one is by pressing the PlayStation button while the game is running, then press the Options button, and the gold hint cheat menu will pop up. We can press X on here, and as you can see, there's a lot of cheats that we can enable and disable. Now the second option of launching the cheat menu, in my opinion, is cleaner and easier. Simply hold down the share button for a few seconds, and it should pop up. Now we're actually running into the issue here where occasionally it does not pop up. I'm not sure what it is, but sometimes it just doesn't work for me here. However, that's not what I was trying to do. However, if you want to bring it up, you can hold down the share button and it will work. But for now, since this is deciding to be testy with me at this point, we're just going to launch this manually. So let's go ahead, get in game, and I'm going to show you these cheats in action. I do have a save at the very beginning and we can just get to a good point here. All right, so here we go. We're at a point where we're actually at a, well, playable point of the game. So I've noticed that now if I press the, well, hold down the share button, the cheats menu will come up here. So let's go ahead and get this all enabled. Now let's do God mode, infinite ammo, quickly kill zombies, and we'll also do, I think, which one was it? No, we're going to do quick level up. There we go. So those ones are all going to be pretty easy to show here. So first of all, we can go ahead and hold down the trigger here. And if I start firing off rounds, you're going to see that my ammo is not going down. If I go in here, disable infinite ammo, go back in game, Going to do the same thing, and yeah. And we can also see if you look in the bottom right corner, if I kill any zombies, every zombie kill counts for 2,501 kills. So we do have a nice boost right there. But I do want my infinite ammo back, so I'm going to enable that here. Go back in game, and just like before, we're all good at this point. So I also just want to show you all how Frank is quite literally kind of just stumbling about here, not really walking the best, but if we want to max out our level, I'm going to take a photo. And there we go. We have just maxed out our level in the game here. So yeah, it's going to give me all these prompts here, but the maximum level you can hit on Dead Rising is level 50. And you can see that we're already going much, much faster here. So that's about all there is to it. This is just a nice way of uh, playing some single player games or offline here and having some more fun with them. So if you've ever messed with, you know, a Game Shark, action replay, or anything of the sort, this is definitely nice to have really built in here. And since we know how to manually transfer over everything, we now have more control over that which is pretty nice if you want to mess around customize your own cheats or really even start working
working on making your own. You can try all of that. So that's great. Works out well enough. Anyways, that is about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it helped out. If you did enjoy it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.